Hello beautiful people, my name is Bridget and welcome back to my channel. Hope you're having an awesome day and today's video is a new wig video. I have not done one in a little bit and today's video is sponsored by VP Fashion. Now originally when I agreed to this was just gonna like wear it in a video and mention it but I decided <laughs> that I wanted to do something else. I thought it'd be more fun this way and maybe a lot more entertaining, but rather than me just wearing something and mentioning and tell you what it is, I wanted to try this technique out that I've seen online a lot. So I have a 16 inch human hair wig from VP Fashion here. It feels really nice, it's nice and soft, it's nice and silky, and I actually quite like this blonde color, but of course I am not really a natural color kind of person. So I wanted to dye this today, doing like the hot water like dip dye method that I've seen online. I've watched a couple videos on it and it looks super thorough and nice and pretty. I wanted to like color experiment a little bit. So this is the wig. I went ahead and cut the lace off of it. I tried it on and it looked really nice. I'm also always scared that I'm cutting way too much lace off of it. But I tried it on, it looked really pretty. I cut the lace and this is the inside. So this is a way more affordable option. They have more affordable options now for the human hair wigs. And I like the amount of hair this is because it's actually like not too dense, which I just wanted to mention. There's also the three clips, the adjustable straps in the back, and this is the inside of the cap. This feels less hot to me when I tried it on than like a lot of wigs that have a ton of hair and the cap's really like, it's not really lace, it's really thick. This is like more lacy and more breathable and more flexible. So I'm really enjoying that. So I wanted to dye this to a color that I would wear more often because I really just like how it looks and it's not too much hair where it looks fake. So what I wanted to do is like you get a big plastic container to put hot water in it and you like dip dye the wig. And since I don't want to use just straight up diluter in water, I wanted to add some rosé. So I'm going to use these two colors today and see what kind of color we come out with for this wig. So... Yeah, let me actually try it on while I have makeup on so you can see what it looks like. Also, when you get the box, it comes with like the information on what your order number is. It comes with some wig caps, which I have tons of. And it also comes with these conditioners, which is great for human hair to reserve the quality of it since it's no longer attached to a person. Ooh, that sounds weird when I set it like that, but <laughs> this blonde color is fun, right? And I like how pure and pretty it is. But again, I just need something a little more fun. Okay, so I think I'm going to part it on this side just so I'm wearing it. As you can see, I left just the smallest amount of lace. You can also see like little pieces of my hair coming through. And this hairline looks so pretty. You don't actually tell. Like unless you're like staring at me, which you shouldn't be, you know, <laughs> if you're not like walking around the streets. I don't think you'd actually question uh, besides this like really platinum color this is my real hair just because it looks super good and also up here has a lot of fullness to it which my real hair has no fullness to it so I actually appreciate this and this is the length this is all the hair at the bottom it gets thinner towards the bottom which makes it look super more super more a lot more realistic but as you can tell this color I mean it's really pretty but it's just not me so I'm gonna go get the container and I'll see you guys in a second. I'm actually really excited about this. Apparently it's supposed to take like five minutes and I'm really stoked. The more I look at it, like I just took a couple pictures for my thumbnail, the more I love this blonde color. But would I wear this color all the time? Oh my gosh, no. Okay, <laughs> we're gonna dye it. <laughs> but it's, it's just so pretty. And like the amount of hair is like real. I don't know. I know this is not the point of the video. We're trying to do like a dye technique. But I'm distracted by how much I really like how it looks. All right, guys, welcome to my kitchen. Um, and this is not going how I expected it to. I'm actually refilming this part. Um, I just dropped my knife into the concoction. So I filled this full of hot water. The hot it is my sink would get. And the first time I did it, the pink absolutely like disappeared. None of the pink showed up in the mixture. I don't know if it's just because Frosé is a very light formula. Um, but I did a red mixture. So not all the clumps are out. The top of it just keeps coming to like a film of bright red. But I think we're going to go for a dark wine kind of color. I'm pretty excited. I do wish the pink had worked out, but I don't have any other pink dye and that did not happen. So we're just going to try this. I'm hoping it actually dyes it. I'm not sure. So what I saw online is everyone keeps dunking it and holding it this way so it doesn't get really into the inside of the lace. You're kind of just dunking the ends of the hair. So I'm scared. Maybe I should lightly dunk the ends. Yeah, it's not really sticking here. I don't know. We're going to try it. We're going to do it. This is how it looks at the ends. Let me adjust the camera so I can show you. So this is how the ends kind of dunked out as. There's clumps in it. I'm just going to keep like pulling the chunks out because it, I've mixed it forever and it's not really mixing through. This is the color. 
honestly it gives me this weird pastel -y purple that's kind of fun but the chunks are leaving different marks in here which is kind of terrifying Okay guys, so I'm on the floor because my bathroom and the hallway next to my bathroom do not have outlets. So if one needs a blow dryer, I gotta do this on the floor <laughs> every time. But I wanted to show you the finished hair color. It looks nothing like what I thought it was about with the deep wine color, but it is stunning. And if it was like a baby bit more pinker, it was originally what I was gonna go for anyways. So this is the color. It's kind of hard to tell you with this lighting, but it's like a dusty purple. Like Yes, I purple half the year, so I don't need a purple wig technically, but this nice dusty color is so unique, and I cannot wait, and the ends are darker because there's more water on them, and they were, they're were they dipped more often, but I cannot wait to see what it looks like dry. I only have a male mannequin head at my house, so I'm going to use this. I'm a little bit of leave-in conditioner, and I bought a round brush, so I'm going to blow dry this real quick so it looks pretty. All right guys, so this is the finished look. I ended up putting it on to dry it just because I feel like it was a lot easier than the head just wobbling around. And the ends of this are still wet, um, but I'm just gonna let it air dry a little bit. I just was super stoked about how the, <sighs> the color came out. It's super, like I do purple hair all the time, right? But my purple hair is usually pretty vibrant. I never do something kind of ashy and I don't actually know how to get like an ashy cooler tone to the purple. So this cooler toned purpley ready color is stunning i absolutely love it i think if i had fresh makeup on because again i was just putting a blow dryer all around my face and my makeup doesn't look perfect i think this would be absolutely beautiful i <laughs> i'm gonna wear this all the time it feels really smooth i use the conditioner packets they provided and the dip dye method i mean it's kind of a gamble what kind of color you're gonna get when you're mixing colors but if you're doing a solid color just one color in that water mixture i think it'd come out stunningly beautiful no issues because I mix several colors, there's like very delicate little different hues in here. And I love it. I love this so much. I've never had long hair before, so this goes like past the boobage area. I've never had hair even as long as my like armpit, like the start of my armpit. I've never had hair that long. My hair naturally just doesn't grow that long. It's very thin, very fine. So back that this has like some oomph to it, I could probably like tease it up and make it really wild and pretty if I wanted to is just really reassuring to me and it doesn't like if you didn't know I was wearing a wig would you know I don't think so it looks super super natural and the last time I had the wig there was a lot of hair up here but it was a little bit too much now that I feel like they've kind of perfected their wigs it's very comfortable it's very lightweight <laughs> it looks so pretty like maybe I should adjust this more this way I don't know anyways like look at it up close if I just fixed the hairs right here and let it dry all the way, I do not think you'd even know to like look for lace. It looks like my hair. Anyways, you guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I can't stop looking at myself in the viewfinder. It just looks so freaking pretty. I'm absolutely in love with the color. The dip dye method was super fun and the hair still feels super soft. I could like straighten and stuff, but I'm kind of enjoying like this air dry kind of look it's given me. I don't know. You guys let me know what you think down below in the comments section. Thank you again, BP Fashion, for this awesome wig. I'm super happy to play with it. Again, I didn't expect to make a dedicated video to this, but I want to try that method. I'm actually really happy I made this video now. So thank you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you later. Bye.